This arose from the disaster that occurred at Hillsborough Football Stadium in Sheffield in the FA Cup semi-final match between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest in 1989. South Yorkshire police were negligent in directing an excessively large number of spectators to one end of the stadium, resulting in a fatal crush when 95 people were killed and over 400 were physically injured. The case was brought by Alcock and several other claimants who were not in the physical zone of danger during the disaster. Lord Oliver set out the distinction between primary and secondary victims. A primary victim is a person fearful for their own welfare and found to be in the immediate zone of danger. The victim is not physically harmed, but the fear of it causes psychiatric damage. In these situations, the ordinary rules of negligence apply and many claims have been successful, such as Deleu vs White and Page vs Smith. A secondary victim is fearful for another person's welfare, but is not in the immediate zone of physical danger. The victim's proximity to the event is taken to mean being either present at the event or its immediate aftermath. Hearing of such an event or finding out through news broadcasts will not be enough. A number of factors should be examined, including the nature of the psychiatric damage. The shock must be sudden and not a gradual assault on the claimant's nervous system. Claimants suffering from depression as a result of living with a relative debilitated by the accident will not qualify. The class of relationship of the person affected will also be examined, and the victim will need to prove close ties of love and affection with that person. Ties will be presumed to exist between parents and children, spouses and fiancés. All other relationships will need to prove ties, including siblings. The victim's perception of the accident or its immediate aftermath are important factors. It must be reasonably foreseeable that a person of normal fortitude in the claimant's position would suffer psychiatric damage. The closer the tie between the claimant and the victim, the more likely it is that the claim will succeed. The result from the claims brought from this disaster have been turned by Lord Stein as a patchwork quilt of distinctions which are quite difficult to justify. This is significant due to the law lord's decision being influenced by the greater social concern of the floodgates argument. The decision in Alcock represents the state of the law in the area of liability for psychiatric harm today.